Thor's hammer Mjolnir, Zeus's thunderbolts, and Poseidon's trident are some of the most popular and well-known mythological weapons of our times. Some of it can be attributed to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the Percy Jackson novels, and the game God of War, while some of it can be attributed to just how well documented and studied they are. In this video, let's take a look at the 5 most powerful weapons in existence in different mythologies and religions. Fair warning, the number one most powerful weapon is probably not what you expect. Not only is the Excalibur, also known as King Arthur's sword, known around the world, it is also said to have incredible magical and physical powers. However, the story behind it is a bit complicated. Firstly, the Excalibur and the sword that King Arthur pulled from the stone are not the same. The sword that King Arthur pulled from the stone is the one that was stuck inside a stone and only the rightful king of the Britons could pull the sword out of the stone. In Arthurian legend, it was King Arthur who was the only one who managed to pull the sword from the stone and thus became the rightful king of the Britons. The sword in the stone actually broke when King Arthur was fighting King Pellinore. The Excalibur, which is a different sword, was given to King Arthur by the Lady of the Lake at Avalon, along with its magical scabbard. The sword and its scabbard, which is the sheath of a sword, are infused with incredible powers. The Excalibur is nearly unbreakable and shines so bright that it can blind its enemies. The Excalibur can also increase the physical abilities of its user to extreme levels, with King Arthur once using it to defeat 400 enemies single-handedly. Not only is the Excalibur capable of defeating nearly anyone, but the scabbard also prevents the user from bleeding and dying from any wounds. It basically made King Arthur unbeatable. Aside from that, only the rightful could wield the Excalibur. Anyone who took it by force and was not worthy would be destroyed by the sword's powers. The most unknown entry on this list is the living weapon called Sharur, which is the personal magical mace of the Mesopotamian god Ninurta. Ninurta was the Mesopotamian god of farming, hunting, and war, and the offspring of Enlil, the king of the gods, and Ninursag, the mother goddess. The Sharur which means the Smasher of Thousands is a magical mace with a host of incredible abilities. It could fly uninterrupted from one place to another by itself. Like Mjolnir, it could be called upon by Ninurta from anywhere in the world. It was powerful enough to smash entire mountains in a single blow. It had the ability to convey divine messages from the chief god Enlil to Ninurta and could also talk to its wielder. The Sharur was also able to gather information from the battlefield, spy on enemies, and help Ninurta in devising strategies to defeat his enemies. Enlil would use the Sharur to relay his divine messages to Ninurta. It was through the Sharur that Enlil told Ninurta to defeat the primeval serpent god Kur and the demon Asag. Interestingly, the Sharur also had the ability to transform into a winged lion and carry Ninurta into battle. It was basically a living, breathing version of Mjolnir. Now we get to arguably the most famous mythological weapon ever, Zeus's Thunderbolts. The Thunderbolts were given to Zeus by the Cyclops' brothers as a thank you for freeing them from Tartarus, where they were imprisoned by their father Uranus and brother Cronus. The thunderbolts signify Zeus's power over the skies and thunder. It has all the power of thunder, so when they are thrown, they are capable of destroying anyone or anything. Its power was demonstrated when Zeus used them to defeat the titans over who would become the supreme ruler of the cosmos in the Titanomachy and also against the most powerful monster in Greek mythology, the Typhon. The Ryui Jingu Bang is the magical staff weapon of the Monkey King, also known as Sun Wukong from Chinese mythology. The Monkey King was a supernatural monkey who was born from a rock. 
The Monkey King was incredibly powerful and he was even able to cheat death on multiple occasions. He was able to achieve immortality through seven different methods, which made him the most immortal being in the universe. Since the Monkey King was so incredibly powerful, he obviously needed a weapon to match his standards. So he went to the underwater kingdom of Ao Guang to meet with the Dragon King of the East Sea. After finding no weapon that he liked, he was recommended a heavenly staff around 20 feet tall and as wide as a barrel that was just sitting idle. Concerned with its size, he wished that the staff was shorter, to which the staff suddenly changed its size. And therein lies the power of the Rui Jingubang. It is capable of changing its size at the will of the wielder. Normally, it is a little taller than the Monkey King, but when not in use, it becomes as small as a needle and is tucked away. Interestingly, it is said to weigh around 8,800 kilograms. The staff is unbreakable and is capable of unaliving nearly all gods. In fact, the Monkey King used the staff to unalive 100,000 celestial warriors from heaven. However, the most powerful weapon in any mythology or religion has to be, without a doubt, the Brahma Shirsha Astra from Hinduism. The Brahma Shirsha Astra is a variant of the weaker but still incredibly powerful Brahmastra. The word Brahmastra comes from the words Brahma and Astra, which means the weapon of Brahma, Brahma being the creator god in Hinduism. The Brahma Shirsha Astra is a missile like weapon of apocalyptic proportions with the ability to erase a person or an entity from the past, present, or future from existence. When the Brahma Shirsha Astra is thrown, the weapon manifests with the four heads of the god Brahma. The wielder can choose to either destroy a specific person or the universe itself. Upon impact, the Brahma Shirsha Astra will set off a set of massive chain explosions that will bring absolute destruction. When the weapon is called upon, it blazes up with terrible flames within a huge sphere of fire. The earth begins to crack, rivers begin to dry up, the mountains and trees begin to tremble, thousands of meteors begin to rain down, and there are horrifying sounds coming from the skies. In the area where the Brahma Shirsha Astra is thrown, not even a blade of grass is able to grow for the next 155.5 trillion years. The weapon is so incredibly powerful that to actually use it, the user must know a specific mantra or chant that is only passed on from an incredibly knowledgeable guru or teacher to their student. But what do you think? Is the Brahma Shirsha Astra the most powerful weapon in any religion or mythology? Or is it something else? Drop your answers in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about it. If you found this content interesting and want to watch more of it, consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel.